Hello, and wow, I can't believe I'm saying this already. Welcome to the final video of Vlogmas. Vlogmas Day 25. Hello. try hard for a very special intro just for the final video um so i am destined to make the longest vlog of the entirety of vlogmas and i've said this so many times it's hard because i've taken out a 46 minute video but girl i have a lot to say in this video we've made it this far already um i can't believe it it's christmas eve today um by the way this is not the official christmas outfit that i have planned i will be wearing it tonight and i'm going towards the next day um, but obviously i'm not filming the next day so i'll be wearing it today i'll be wearing it today um at night time for you guys to see um i'm really excited about this I'm, I'm excited more about the new year's outfit because it's it's a whole lot bigger this one it's still very special um but it's a lot more uh, toned down <laughs> It's a lot more toned down than the New Year um, outfit, but I'm very excited. Okay, so first things first, um, I had to edit the vlog and upload that because I don't want to worry about that at all during the day. Um, I worried, I stressed so much about that last night. The vlog ended up going at 11 p.m., so my apologies for that. Uh, so there's that. Um, oh, I'm on YouTube. No, I'm not going to I'm not, but also, I'm really sad that Zoe's 24 Days as well as over. I'm really sad. I absolutely enjoyed it this year. It was incredible. Um, there's still one more vlog left. One more vlog left. Um, but oh my goodness, it's terrifying what she did to Joe. It's actually very terrifying. Uh, but yeah, I'm destined to make the longest vlog I can. Um, we are going to go, we are going to leave today just to get a couple things that we need to get that we've pre-ordered and just to get everything ready for tonight. So that's what, that's what we're gonna do. Um, and we also got a Christmas cake! And also I think tomorrow I'm gonna make my own Christmas cake. I think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna make my own Christmas cake, which is gonna be exciting. That's for Christmas Day. I'll take a- I'll, I'll be away from YouTube for a while, but I'll, from here on, from here and there, here and there, I will pop up in social media. I'm not going to try to use it as much, but I will pop up from, from here and there, at least once a day. Yeah, just once a day, I'll tweet something or like I'll post a picture of something, but, but not too much. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's what, that's what's going to happen. Um, and then at the end of this video, I will say my goodbyes, say the plans for next year, because this is, this is the final video for the entire year, which I mean, there's not that much of the year left. <laughs> like, by the time you guys are watching this, there's only like five or six days left in the year, so it's not really that much. Um, but yeah, let me get to editing, and then I will talk to you guys in a bit. Oh my goodness, I was having a bit of an uploading nightmare, so since I do my editing through iMovie, yes, that's a big shocker. Um, really everything in the final vlog of Vlogmas. Um, I do my editing through iMovie, and it literally did not want to export yesterday's vlog for a little while. It's been an hour. It took me an hour to finally get the hang, to not get the hang of it, to finally be able to export the vlog. So it's going to go up. It's definitely going to go up. And I just remembered this vlog is actually going to go up an hour earlier. I thought it was going to go up at a one or two. Um, you know what? I'll just put it, I'll just put it out at three. Yeah. Yeah. This, no, no, two, two, two. It'll go up at this hour. So this vlog is going up at 2 PM. This is a reminder for myself to upload early. Uh, and it's, I, is it already 12 p.m. in the UK? Because Alfie is already saying Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, if, I'm pretty sure it's already 12 p.m. in the UK. Is it? Yep. Uh, oh, people are getting their PB merch. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I'm not gonna comment anymore on, uh, Alfie's merchandise. Because, well, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't tell, I can't tell you guys anything about next year just yet. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, finally, it's exporting, it's uploading, we're about to go. Actually, what my parents said today, since we have two younger siblings, um, basically they did this for Thanksgiving as well, but you guys never found out. <laughs> you guys don't know about that. Um, but they rented a bouncy house. Yes, they rented an entire bouncy house for the entire day today and tomorrow. So there's literally going to be a big bouncy house right next to my 
room, which honestly we had that yesterday, last, um, last month. It was a nightmare. Trust me, I got so t I got so tired just being there because it is actually very tiring being in a bouncy house. Um, so yeah, they they rented that out for two days, so we're gonna have that for two days. I don't know if I should film it. Should I film it? I don't know. Probably just to, like lengthen the vlog. I might just film in there. Um, I don't, it was, last month's was like a Super Mario theme, I don't know what this month's is, if it's the same or it's different, but they got it, so, I'll, I'll try to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so right now we're just off, we just got the food that we needed to get and the cake that we ordered to get done. It's a pretty cute cake, it's not, it's not a big one, it's not a big extravagant one, it's just a really small one, it's like a small round white one and around it, it's like a, it's like a fairy light wreath, like it has like a wreath that's just made of fairy lights, I, I think it's cute, like in, in the middle it says Merry Christmas, um, and on the side it has fairy lights as well, I thought it was pretty cute, I liked it, I didn't know what it looked like until I got it, it, it looks, looks pretty adorable, so I love that, also, tomorrow, I'm not gonna film it, obviously, because, um, by tomorrow I'm not doing Vlogmas anymore, but tomorrow I am actually gonna bake my own cake, um, I'm basically doing a two-tier velvet cake, so it's gonna be the green velvet and red velvet cake, and it's gonna be stacked on top, uh, like the decoration outside, I don't know what to do, but I will, I'll think of something at the last minute. <laughs> I think it's going to be the last minute, but right now we're also buying a bit few stocking fillers. We don't really have stockings, um, but it's just little things that we get each other before before Christmas Day. I guess I guess that's one way to say it. it's like things we get each other before Christmas. So it's like really small things that are not too expensive. So that's what we that's what we're getting right now. Um, and then after that, I think I'm just gonna head home and I'm gonna um, shower quickly and then put on the outfit. So yeah, I think that's the plan for tonight. And then just spend Christmas Eve as good as like it's as good as I possibly can spend it. Um, yesterday was a very tumultuous day, so I hope today is not like that. Um, even though it's already 5 p.m. so the day has gone by, uh, but let's hope the night's not tumultuous. Okay, are you ready? I have put on the outfit already. Are you ready to see my Christmas outfit, which I'm very proud about? Um, I'm just filming this. Um, three, two, one. Da -da! Okay, so this is the entire outfit. So it is this uh, sweatshirt, which jumper, which I actually I didn't realize this until after I bought it. That I've always wanted a jumper like this. That's black, but it has a lot of gold. I think with like a ring light or something like that, with like very fluorescent lighting, it would look incredible. So there's this. Then also to go along with it are these J brand trousers, which I got at Neiman Marcus the day I went there. So these are the trousers that. Uh, I got <laughs> and also since it is a holiday I will be wearing one of the holiday songs from Neiman Marcus let me show you um, okay so I, I, I wanted to wait until I was filming to show you guys so I'm um, gonna open it from underneath here then where's the Merry Christmas tis the season I'm guessing it's these ones okay so I'm putting these socks on today now I know that everything, oh my gosh, that's so cute, it's a name and Marcus here. Nobody's gonna see that. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see that. I'm stuffing it in here. Imagine if these, imagine if all of these had at least one gift inside of them. So, today I'm actually gonna wear these. Uh, on the 31st, I'm going to wear these, because these are New Year, new socks. It says right here. It says right here what they are. Okay. So, today's Tis the Season. Next Saturday, it'll be New Year, new socks. Um, February, it'll be Be Mine. March, look at the Irish. Uh, July, Stars and Stripes. October, Boo. And November, Gobble Gobble. So, I have to wait an entire year for those Gobble Gobble socks. Okay, so I know everything is supposed to be new, but I will make one exception with the shoes because I couldn't find any shoes um, before today that matched with the sweatshirt or with, well, with, with the trousers, yeah, but I, I wanted to wear shoes that match with the, if you hear screaming, it's children over there. Ugh. Children. No, I don't like children. <laughs> um, but, um, I, uh, where was, where was that? Oh yeah, the shoes. Okay, so, so, it's not gonna be any new shoes, by the way. Yes, I have done my hair, which is pretty wet. Um, it's going to be old shoes. Uh, yeah, they're old shoes. I was gonna say, no, they're not old shoes. No, yes, they are old shoes. Where's the box? I can feel the box. There it is. Oh, there. Hello, I'm here. Okay, so. For today's outfit, I am going to give me one second. This is tough with just one hand. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. For today's Chris, for this year's Christmas outfit, 
last year I wore the Burberry. Did I wear the Burberry shoes? Which shoes? Which shoes? Oh, uh, did I wear the ten? No, I didn't wear the ten baker. Which? What shoes? Now that I remember, what shoes did I wear last year for Christmas? I think it was the Zara shoes. It must have been the Zara, the Ted Baker shoes. Oh no, it was the Ted Baker. It was the Ted Baker shoes. So this year, I am wearing. Oh, it's pretty dusty. Give me one second. I am going to clean this with tissue. Where do I have tissue? Um. Oh, here, I have one. Okay. Okay, because I want this to be presentable, and I don't want it to seem that I never wear these shoes. But truthfully, I never do actually wear these shoes because these hurt like hell every time that I put them on. Like, I'm, I kid you not, they hurt like hell. Okay, for this year, after that long intro, I want to wear these Gucci shoes. So I have these shoes from Gucci. I've had these for about three years now. Uh, yeah, three years, three years. I bought these in 2013. Um, 13? Yeah, 2013. I bought these in 2013. So, this is how they look like. Come on, get out, show the world what you're made of. <gasps> With my awful ta da. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> um, it's a bit of fluff. Okay, so these are the shoes. They say made in Italy by Gucci. I've had these for a long time. You can clearly tell I've had these for a long time. Um, I don't wear them that often just because I usually like to save them, save them for special events. It's between these and these. Oh, hold on. Well, let me put you back here. I'm I'm gonna decide like right now. Like I'm not gonna wait to to let anybody know. I'm gonna go down here. Oh wait, no, you can see the shoes. From the, you can see the shoes from New Year's. No, you can. No, you can see the shoes from New Year's. No, no. Okay, I cut the clip by accident. Okay, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so, it's between the Gucci shoes, and, uh, these are dusty too. You can tell that I have not worn these shoes in quite a long time, because both of these hurt. Especially these next ones, because they're a size shorter than me. And the reason being is because they were the only ones that I had that were, the other ones that were on sale, um, in that size. Does that make sense? No. These were the only size that they had available for these pair of shoes. And also, at the time, these were ahead of the season, so they weren't even on sale. They, they weren't supposed to have them on sale, but they had them on sale. And it is these Prada. Okay, so it's between these, the Gucci shoes, and the Prada shoes. Let me show you the, the Prada shoes. Okay. Oh, these came out easily. Da -da! So it's between the Prada shoes, which you can tell why I don't wear them anymore. I don't, I hate when this comes on a shoe. Prada there. And you can even tell that I haven't worn these in a while because this hasn't come off yet too. Uh, this typically comes off. Gucci, Prada. I'm, I'm leaning more towards the Gucci just because they match the gold and the sweatshirt and the black and gold. These are a bit more... Uh, I like to say these are kind of brownish color. They do hurt a lot because they're size 8.5 and, and, and I'm a size 9, so they do hurt a lot. One time, uh, way back before I even started vlogging, I took them to the Grove and I actually bled. I was actually bleeding. Oh, so, yeah, I don't want to bleed today. So, it's a Gucci. You can tell from here, I've worn them quite a lot. So, I'll put these on now and... Let's get Christmas Eve started! I also have to eat. I have bought dinner already because I I just, I don't eat what, I just, I'm not gonna eat what, what, what we have here today. I just, I'm, I'm, I don't like it. I don't particularly like it. So I bought some food to eat and I'm gonna eat that and then I will come back to you guys. Okay, so the rest of the family is here, which is why I'm being a bit quiet. But, 
we have a ward, 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 wardrobe, a wardrobe malfunction. Okay, so I, I was just giving the cat her medicine. Well, me and my mother, since we're doing it together, she kind of destroyed the sweatshirt. Like, I don't know if you can see right here, but look at, I don't know. I don't know if it's visible, but I don't know if you can see like the little, like this right here, like she, with her claw, she took out all of the strings from the sweatshirt. Um, it's a bit ruined now, which is a bit unfortunate, but I can just go get another one because they still do sell them at Macy's. Um, but the rest of the family is here and they don't know that I do this for a living. So I'm gonna have to be very quiet or else it looks like I'm just talking, or else it sounds like I'm just talking to myself. But two more hours until it's officially Christmas day. Two more hours until it's officially Christmas day, which I'm very excited. I've got it also right here in this Balmain bag is where my New Year's Eve slash day outfit is being stored. Let me just fix that right now. I am really trying my very best to make this vlog really, really long because I just really want it to be like, like, you know, I want to end off on a high. I want to end this year on a high, you know. This year was filled with, you know, some good things and as well a lot of bad things. You know, a lot of good things and a lot of bad things, mainly... The focus was a lot on the bad stuff, which is very unfortunate, you know. And for next year, well, I really, I don't know. I don't know what I can expect from next year. Like I said, I'll definitely talk about it afterwards in this vlog. Um, maybe in the next clip. I don't know how much else I will film. But I will try my very best to film as much as I possibly can. Um, this, we're, we still have so much time. Oh, excuse me. We still have so much time to film. So, you know, I don't doubt that I might actually end up with an hour-long vlog. Which is exciting, which is exciting, which is great. Uh, yeah. Uh, and already, Santa already came here, left the gifts right there, that's what I filmed. The gifts are already out there, ready to tempt everybody to try to opening one. Um, but no, we gotta wait. Um, and also, I guess, um, should I say it? No, I'm not gonna say it. I was about to say what, the, what my first video of the year would be, but I'm pretty sure you know what it'll be. I'm pretty sure you all know what the first video of the year will be. Oh, it's still bugging me the fact that she took out the strings and this. It's like now like all like bubbly and stuff like that, so it's like it's as if a moth took it up and since she still has really like fine claws, so yeah. So I'm right here for a little bit just to cool down and then I will go out back. Uh, right before 12 just to be there and I'll probably film something probably not I don't know just waiting till it's officially Christmas in like about half a game let me pause this video um, Christmas is literally in about focus camera focus 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 uh, in about in uh, I was about to say an hour in about half an hour it is officially Christmas day which I am very excited about um, literally what we're gonna do is we're just literally gonna drink hot chocolate Drink hot chocolate, watch some Christmas movies for a little while, then go to sleep, then tomorrow wake up and open the presents. But you won't be able to see the presents yet. Um, I don't know what I'm getting. I know I have gifts, but I don't know what I'm getting at all. Um, so just after, you know, once everybody's gone to bed, I will do my big speech discussion that I have been planning for the entirety of Vlogmas, because it's been on my head, um, coming up with the... Sorry, coming up with the schedule that um, I'm going to do in January because January is going to be a bit different. So I've literally just been planning the entire schedule, the entirety of Vlogmas. Um, it's not up on the calendar. Where's the calendar? Where's the calendar? Right there. It's not up on the calendar just yet, but I will be writing it on the calendar right after Vlogmas and just scheduling things and scheduling planning stuff um i've already got a lot planned like i i had i already have a lot of things planned for the first week of 2017 so it's already hectic it, it ha it's not even the new year and it's already hectic for next year um but it's a good type of he the hectic the type of hectic that really just excites me a lot so i'm really excited about that but yeah i'm just watching some youtube videos to count to down christmas um yeah that's about it for now all right guys so it is 2 a.m in the morning it's about to be 3 right now i don't know how i am still awake um uh, but we actually opened up our presents at 12 so that puts a whole new twist on first thing in the morning and oh my lord what i got was insane um i can announce it now i will be uh filming a what i got for christmas video and it'll be going up next year <laughs> so you have, to, you have to wait a whole year for the video. You have to wait a whole year for the video. But it will be going up next year on the channel. Um, uh, I think on the first week of January, it will definitely be going up. And, you know, this is it. Like, this is it. This is the final clip for the vlog. It could be 5 minutes. It could be 10 minutes. It could be 20 minutes. I don't know how long it will be. 
but I personally just wanted to talk a lot about this year and what has happened um, personally in my perspective and in my life you know for me 2016 was a very very tough and tumultuous year for me um, a lot of negative things happened um, but as well through the through the very tough times um, that I encountered this year there was also a lot of good things that happened you know if we look back on the positive things that are on film you know uh, VidCon you know I I like to categorize VidCon as a 50-50 because there was there were moments where it was good but the majority of the time I just wasn't it just I just felt like I was back at square zero when I was at VidCon last year um this year I just felt at square zero I felt I felt the same I felt like nothing had changed I felt like nothing had changed and that wasn't the vibe I was going for for this following VidCon um, so that's why I did, I've made sort of the very, um, I guess tough decision that, um, there is a really high probability that I will not be going to VidCon this year in America. Um, there's a really high probability that I will not be going to VidCon this year in America. And instead I really am fighting to be able to go to another VidCon either in Europe or Australia. My pick is for Europe because that's a shorter flight. Australia is nearly a 20 hour flight from here, from Los Angeles to Sydney. So my safest bet is VidCon and Europe and Amsterdam. Um, let's hope for that happens, but I have one condition. I have one condition for VidCon Anaheim. If Zoe and Alfie come to VidCon in 2017, I, you can be more than assured that I will be there because it has literally been almost four years the last time they came here to LA. It's literally almost been four years the last time they came here and you know every year I've been you know excited that oh they're gonna come this year they're gonna come this year they're gonna come this year and they never came so that's my only condition for VidCon Anaheim is that if Zoe and Alfie are coming I will go if they're not coming I won't go it's just simple as that just simple as that and also I feel like for this year's VidCon if I do go in Anaheim I personally feel I wouldn't be approached with the same friendly embrace that I was approached with this year I just don't think that would happen anymore I just I really just I highly doubt that would happen anymore so yeah there's that also you know looking back on the positive things that have happened this year for me you know I was able to meet so many incredible people as well you know i was able to go see adele live like last year in 2015 that was something i was really like i even vlogged my struggle to get tickets to the first shows and then she added the two shows and i was able to go to one of the shows and it was just life-changing it was breathtaking honestly and you know let's hope i can go in 2017 as well um and the other thing the other great thing that happened for me was <clears throat> was um getting to go see Lindsay Sterling and getting to speak to her and interact with her and you know see her you know just see a whole different side of what it takes to make a concert which is you know backstage and rehearsals and sound check and dress rehearsal and uh tech rehearsal just a lot of rehearsals and just preparing everything and that was just an incredible experience as well and that's caught on film too um and you know aside Aside from that, aside from those two things, a lot of the stuff that happened in my personal life, you know, as well, another, well, let's keep on focusing on the positives. Another positive thing that happened for me this year was that I got, I became a dog owner again. I became, uh, sorry, I had a bit of saliva. I became a dog owner again. Now I have two dogs, Edgar and Ted. I also became a guinea pig owner and a rabbit owner and turtles owner and most recently a cat owner. So... We now have seven animals in the house of, yeah, seven, seven animals, two dogs, two rodents, two aquatics, and one feline. Yeah, so we have a lot of animals and, you know, it's been incredible and it's been, it's definitely ha it definitely has been life changing. Just having so many more people to take care of and to keep alive. Uh, and, you know, my dogs, you know, have grown up to be incredible dogs. They're incredible. They're wonderful. 
they're great. Um, I think they just, I've, I've raised them well. I've raised them well. And then, you know, my cat, who we're barely raising, you know, and right now, you know, she's not feeling well. Though, though it's a bit of an update, she has been feeling a whole lot better. Um, she still is sneezing, but she isn't, um, releasing mucus. So that is definitely a really good sign. And her eye, so she had an eye that was a bit more smaller than the other. Her eye has gone back to the regular, um, form. So that's a really good sign as well. So, you know, she's sneezing without mucus and her eye has gone back up. So the medicine is definitely working. And honestly, I thank the vet. Um, I can't say his name, but thank you. So, um, me and my family became owners of animals once more. And I didn't think that we would, I heard there was a, po there was a point in the search for a dog that I didn't feel like we could become dog owners again. I just... I don't know, I just, for a moment there, I really couldn't see it. Why is my hand so dirty? Oh, oh, I think it's all oh, the wrapping paper. <laughs> the wrapping paper, it, the dye of the wrapping paper came out of my hands. But yeah, for a moment, I didn't think we could be able to become pet owners again, but we did it, and it was incredible. Um, let's see, let's think back on some more positive things that happened for me. Hmm. What are some more positive things that happened for me? There's quite a few. There's quite a few, you know. Um... I guess, hmm, I guess another thing that happened, well, another positive thing that happened for me personally was my album release, which, you know, it, to me, that album was a true risk to take out, um, at the time, you know, to take out an album that was very unpopularly minded and that was, that didn't have a very strong support system. It was, it was definitely a challenge to take out that album and I was able to do it and, you know, to me, it did not and doesn't matter how bad or how well it did commercially just the thought of it being out there in the world is all that matters to me and i'm very thankful that i was able to have the resources to release it oh lights went out <laughs> lights went out they go off automatically well at least i know it takes six minutes for, for them to go out but as i was saying about the album uh i think it doesn't matter how well it did all that matters is that the creativity is out there and you know i will be honest my mind and my perspective in life has definitely changed an awful lot from the time i wrote this album this album to for me right now if i were to take out this album right now in this time it would seem it would seem inauthentic it wouldn't seem genuine and it wouldn't seem real because that's not how that's not how i think anymore i think a whole lot more differently about so many things you know and there's a lot of people i have to thank for that there definitely is a lot of people i have to thank for you know my thought process sort of changing for my views on certain things changing as well and for uh, sort of me truly finding myself and truly finding where i can rely on for a support system where i can rely on for advice and where i can rely on for security um my thoughts on those things have definitely changed over time and you know i could definitely go on into an entire video of how i think and what my mind is right now but i feel like it would be a very unpopular video to do and also the other thing is that you know a lot of people would possibly not agree with me uh and they would try to attack me within that area so that is why i don't really talk about my personal views on certain things just because I'd rather just stay silent on certain things. Certain things should be um, kept to one's self rather than be publicized for the whole world to see. So that's why I don't really talk about views, my views on certain things. Um, but definitely there's a lot of people I have to thank for that. Um, if I mention their names, uh, my channel will be deleted. Um, but I, you know, I... I thank them very, very much privately. I send them DMs through, through Instagram and through Twitter, although one of them doesn't have a Twitter anymore, but... I've thanked everybody in private, um, and thank you, thank you for watching this video. Um, and, you know, speaking about the tumultuous, tumultuousity of this year, um, definitely a lot of negative things happened as well in my personal life and in my YouTube life as well. You know, we were attacked by trolls. Um, that was the first. Um, they're, they, they're gone now. They got bored of me, so I'm glad about that. Um, and you know, just, you know, at the beginning of Vlogmas, you know, I did a video about cutting ties with certain people, 
And to this point, at this very day, and on Christmas Day, literally it's now Christmas Day, I don't regret it. I do not regret it whatsoever. I think it was the right choice for me to do. And it isn't necessarily anything negative. I feel like it's a positive thing as well. It was a very healthy thing for me to do. Because, you know, I just felt like, you know, the peop certain people around me were not helping me be the best person I can be. And were not um, sort of being there for me. They weren't there for me. They weren't supportive. And they just set me aside. And I really, I didn't enjoy that. And I didn't appreciate that. So I decided to, you know, be my own person and let them go. And I think to this day, I do not regret that choice, and I live by it every single day. Um, uh, but definitely, it is, you know, in a nostalgic way, it is unfortunate that that had to happen. It definitely is unfortunate, but it had to be done. Um, and, you know, it's fine. It's fine, you know. I feel like, you know, I can always carry on on my own, and I can, and I can always progress. And anybody who generally wants to be by my side, you're free to be by my side. Uh, and as well, you know, this year was also a very big year for my YouTube channel because we surpassed a thousand subscribers. Wow, that went quick. I thought it was going to take me two years to get to, um, well, I thought it was going to take me four years to get to a thousand subscribers, but we made it to a thousand and now we're on the road to two thousand, which is incredible. I am very thankful for every single one of you who have stuck with me since either since day one or since just today or since yesterday or since the start of vlogmas your support and you watching my videos and you liking the videos or commenting or tweeting me every single one of those letters means the entire world to me and i cannot be more thankful to have your love and to have your support in my life and you know following my journey and following my creative process and my creativity it means so much to me that you um a thousand i don't know how many of you um decided to click subscribe and to watch my videos it means so it definitely means the world to me and i do not take for granted every single thing that you do that you guys do for me thank you very very much and there's definitely a whole lot more for you to do next year um, and speaking about next year, I guess we could talk about the plans for next year. So for next year, um, for next year, uh, the first month of the year, January, is going to be a very silent month for me on YouTube. Um, if you don't see as many videos from me on January, don't worry. Um, it's just that January typically is a very, um, if we, if we look at things an analytically, um, the views um, go down a bit in January just because everybody's trying to get back into the swing of things after winter break. You know, you, um, some people have school, some people have work, other people have other priorities to take care of in January. So, you know, it's typically a low view each month. So I don't really want to overwhelm a lot of stuff on you all if, you know, not as many of you will see it. So I'd rather just um, not do as much on YouTube. Um, uh, for January, but definitely February will be back to the swing of things. Um, I, like I said, I can confirm that I will be doing a What I Got for Christmas video that will be going up on the first week of January. And for the rest of 2017, you know, I want to say that I had really high hopes for 2016. I had really high hopes for 2016 as much as I did for 2015. And in both the years, I was battered, I was shattered, and I was crushed with those hopes. I can safely say that. And after two years of a lot of awful things happening in my life, very, very awful things happening, this time around, I'm not, uh, I'm not hopeless. Um, no, I'm not hopeful, but I haven't lost hope. I'm not hopeful of anything but yet I still have hope. It's still important to have hope even if you don't have any expectations or you don't have any goals for next year. It's still important to have hope because, you know, in the in the past two years, I've been very hopeful about so many things and I was left to a point where I felt hopeless. I felt like nothing would be fulfilled and like nothing would happen. Um, and now, you know, I'm not hopeful but I'm not hopeless. I just have hope. That's all it is for this year. You know, I really can't predict anything for this year for myself personally. Um, I don't know what 2017 has in store for me. I, I just don't know. 
I just really, this is the first time in quite a while that I don't know what the year has in store for me. I just really, it's a very um, indefinitive year because I have no idea what's going to happen for me um, in the upcoming year, you know. Last year, I, I knew what, was, what I was going to do. I was going to take out an album and I was going to try my very best to keep on growing an audience on YouTube. This year, you know, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. And I feel like there's, there is definitely a sense of optimism in not knowing something because it widens your horizons a bit. It widens your horizons a bit and it allows you to explore beyond what you had in mind or beyond what you might have in mind. So I feel like it's, it's a good thing to not know. It's definitely a good thing to not know what's going to happen next year. Because an album, I really do not know if I'm going to be taking out an album next year. At this point right now, I can... My camera decided to cut off. Wow. <laughs> um, as I was saying, I'm, I don't know if I'm taking out an album out this year. Um, because as far as right now, a lot of it is just concepts. A lot of it, some, some songs are actually done. I have been... I have finished like two, one, two, three songs. Two, one, two, three songs. Um, that's it. Uh, I haven't really been writing as much. I've mainly been focusing on the music videos forever and this channel as well. And Vlogmas has definitely taken a toll on me <laughs> by a whole lot. So, you know, an album next year? It could happen, but I don't know. I really don't know. Um, don't expect an album from me next year. Probably, probably till 2018 or 19 or, or, or next year. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I get like the, the songwriting bug and I, I write a lot through January and February and possibly take out an album but I am just not sure um but yeah I, I really don't know what there is in store for me on on 2017 I really don't know I don't really have anything planned and I feel like I don't just want to go with the flow of the year I don't want to because if I do that and it's not a good year then I'm not gonna be fine so what I really want I guess I guess what I want to strive to do for next year is just um, not necessarily go with the flow, but create my own flow, create my own path, create my own horizon and create my own reality. Basically, I'm basically going to steal Rochelle's <laughs> Rochelle Fox's like YouTube channel. I create my own reality because that's definitely what I would like to do. I would like to create my own reality next year and you know, I feel like I've done, I've tried to do it in the past two years, and I feel like in the end, I end up losing. And, you know, you know what they say, third time's a charm. You know, 2015 wasn't a good year, 2016 was definitely not a good year. Third time's a charm, and let's hope for that. Um, that's all I can say. You know, and I know that a lot of people, political-wise, are definitely terrified of January 20th. And I guess to those of you who are still skeptic about him and, you know, the people he has picked, you know, just be hopeful because he could be a good president. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about politics. Be optimistic. He could actually turn out to be a really good president. And we've been judging him. Well, not, not we, but the whole world has been judging him wrong the whole time. Uh, let's, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that about politics or else I get in trouble. But, yeah, I don't know what 2017 has, well, I guess I know one thing that I have in store for 2017. My dogs have to be spayed in 2017. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's, well, I guess, I guess I do know what's gonna happen next year. My dogs are getting spayed next year. Um, we're actually waiting till, um, they're one year old to get spayed. Just because um, I've been told by so many people who are dog owners that if you, I don't know if it's true. It could just be, it could, it could have just been their issue, but I don't know if it's actually true overall. That if you spay a dog before they're a year old, they can become aggressive. Uh, I don't know if it's actually true. I don't, I don't know because my young, my, my dog that I had that we got over a decade ago, which passed away last death year, two years ago, last year. 2015, he passed away in 2015, of old age. Um, 
like that dog, um, we spayed him actually at two months because it was our first time with a dog. So, but he turned out fine. He turned out fine. He was still pretty calm. He was still pretty playful. So I don't know if it's actually true or if it's just like a superstition or just a myth. I don't know, but we are going to spay them next year. So I do know it's going to happen. We're going to spay dogs. <laughs> We're going to spay dogs and I think spay cats too. We probably might. No, there's not that many. The, truthfully, in the streets here, like in my neighborhood, there's not really any cats. So we don't have that same fear of pregnancy with cats than we do with dogs. Because Lord knows that if they're not spayed... And there is female dogs out there. Like, Lord knows what could happen. And we don't want to be responsible for any other dogs. So, yeah. Just taking precautions there. Uh, but, yeah. I guess that, uh, that's the only thing I have planned for next year. <laughs> that's literally the only thing I have planned for next year. Um, and I guess one thing that I hope you all have planned for next year is that you stick around with me. And I hope that we continue to grow and expand and keep on just, I hope to appeal to a whole lot more people. I hope that a whole lot more people come by, subscribe and watch the videos and enjoy what I do because I, I really, I really, I just, I don't know how to word it. I really don't know how to word it, but I just honestly am very, like I said, I'm not hopeful, but I still have hope. And I have hope that, you know, a whole lot more people come in and see and enjoy it and tell more people to come in and more and more and more. We keep growing to a point where I can really truthfully, I can truthfully have an unlimited amount of resources to really do even bigger things. I hope we can make it to that point this year. That's that's all I'm going to say. That's 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 having hope but not being too hopeful. Like I have hope but I am not too hopeful about certain things. And you know, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. You know, it's the final vlog of Vlogmas and Zoe actually uploaded her final Vlogmas right now at 1 a.m. I'm not going to watch it now. I'm too tired. Um so I guess this is it for this year. Uh, thank you so so much to every single one of you who saw my videos, who enjoyed my videos, who left a like, who commented, who left lovely tweets as well. Thank you so much to all the YouTubers that I have met throughout the year. You guys inspire me every single day to be the best content creator I can possibly be. Thank you, Adele. I know you're not watching this video, but still, it's out there in the universe. Thank you, Lindsay Sterling. Um, thank you to the people I can't mention. <laughs> Uh, thank you to... Who else do I have to thank? Thank you to my dogs, my animals, all my animals. And thanks, thank you to you for watching. And thanks to me, because I did it. I did it. I can now claim victory. I can claim victory. I have finished 50 videos in December. Wow. Consider yourselves overwhelmed with content. I did it. I can't believe I did it. I cannot believe I bloody did it. I bloody did it. Um, 50 videos in December. Wow, that's a lot of videos. Um, I beat Zoe by two. I beat Zoe by two because she, oh, well, actually by one. I actually beat her by one because she did 24 in her uh, main channel and then I think 25 on her second channel. No, 24 and 24. Oh yeah, I beat her by two videos. So, so kudos to you, Zoe. We did it. We did it, girl. We did it. We did it. She did 48 videos in December. I did 50 videos in December. Wow, I can consider myself a true vlog misser. No, now I'm gonna. I will say this. I don't know if I'll do the YouTube advent calendar next year. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait until February to see how well it did. Um, if it did well, we'll do it. If not, we'll still. No, we won't still do it. Maybe, maybe. Don't get your hopes up. Maybe. Okay, so the final outro for the year. Thank you very, very much for watching this and all the Vlogmas videos. If you enjoyed them, please do make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below if you watched any, um, uh, multiple vlog multiple of my Vlogmas videos or did you watch my YouTube Advent Calendar videos or who else's Vlogmas have you enjoyed throughout the month of December. I, I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Um, uh, happy second day of Hanukkah to all my Jewish... Um, 
to my Jewish audience and to anybody around the world, I wish you a happy new year as well. And I hope you have an incredible year. Um, and I hope you have an incredible Christmas. Eat lots of food. Um, I'm very hungry right now because I didn't eat that much. And also, I had a cake. Uh, and also, tomorrow I'm making a cake. <laughs> so, I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So, I wish you all the best. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of the year. And I hope you have an incredible start 2017. And make it your year. And as well subscribe if you're new i always love seeing new viewers i won't be on youtube for a bit of a while but trust me i will be back and i will be making videos for you guys and i will do my very best and so much more to give you the best content i possibly can in 2017 and as well subscribe if you're new because i will be back i will be back in january so you don't want to miss that and click the little bell button to be notified on january when i come back and i will see you I was going to say tomorrow, but I'm not going to see you tomorrow anymore. Oh, that's so sad. Um, I'll see you soon. I will see you definitely very, very soon. I will see you soon, and I hope I am better than ever for you. Thank you very much for everything and more, and goodbye!